know, big boxy Fiore. Hey, and um, here we are, still at home, still not on tour. Um, I haven't seen a suitcase for a long, long while, and I'm getting itchy, 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 itchy fingers, but never mind. Um, time to play lots of great music and, uh, and, and relive some memories, and I'm going to share them with you. Um, one of them being that um, we had an American tour booked. In those days, we were doing, you know, 10,000 seaters, and it was just a magical time for the band, and um, really exciting times indeed. And, uh, you know, with the limos, the private jets, the bodyguards outside the hotel rooms, the, the, the whole nine yards, it was fantastic. Anyhow, um, I was living in America at the time, and I went I went back there for a, um, about a week prior to the, the tour starting in, 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 in um, New York. And um, I remember getting in the car and driving to my home, and uh, on the radio comes this great song. And I go, who's this? It's fantastic, you know. Well, wow, what a great rock and melodic. What a guy's got a great voice. And um, and while I was home for that week, it was on the radio constantly, 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 constantly. And I just couldn't believe it. Uh, it was just such a great song. And um, I'll get to the song in a minute. <laughs> and so I was a week at home doing that. Then I, I, I went to New York, flew to New York. And um, when I arrived, I was picked up by the tour manager. You know, who's, who's on the bill? Who's working with us? You know, um, he said, oh, there's a, there's a band called Foreigner. And I went, oh my lord! I've just been hearing their song. Feels like the first time, all over the radio. It is, it is mobbed, and um, so I said, oh, that's fantastic, you know. So anyhow, you know, first night, of course, I went out to check them out, and um, in those days, they had two drummers. Funny enough, um, yeah, but the, they they were phenomenal, and um, yeah, destined for greater things, obviously, you know, that songwriter. Mick Jones was a bit of a writer, uh, and we know with Lou Graham writing too, there, there was, it was a perfect partnership right there. Um, so yeah, what a great time it was, you know, we had some really, really good time, and um, really enjoyed touring with those guys. Um, you know, and, and although they were all over the radio, luckily, so were we. So, um, and we're the sort of band that, you know, when we're on stage, we own that stage, we fear no one. and. Uh, and that's how we approached it, and it was a great tour because um, there was a lot of the, you know, the, the new coming in with the foreigner guys, and 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 we had our, our our proven audience already, which was fantastic. So, yeah, it was a good time. Anyway, thought I'd just share that with you, uh, and I didn't tell you I was living out in um, New Mexico at the time in a place called Las Cruces. All right, see you later. Bye for now.